Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sekina and this is Sekina's Diary. Yes, I'm back. I'm trying to be consistent, but it's not working. But one step at a time, we'll get there gradually. I'm so tired. Anyway, guys, um, happy independence to all Nigerians. Um, it was at independence on the 1st of October. I don't know if we should really be saying happy independence because we're not even moving forward so you know what nigeria is just like you know a married woman yeah there's nothing wrong with nigeria it's the government that has the problem they've refused to do what's right nigeria is like you know a married woman that has all this um, she has a degree she has a phd she has everything going on for her she's a businesswoman she's got everything like everything you she you know most people will wish wish for like she has everything going on and then she'll go she'll now end up marrying a useless husband yeah yeah that, yeah that's the situation nigeria nigeria's got everything we just have bad government unfortunately and it's not just the government even the people in nigeria most of us are corrupt we are the corruption we are a corrupt we are a corruption like nigerians yeah we need to be better so we can actually actually wish each other happy independence and be happy to say happy independence and not just say it for the sake of saying it let's do a little <laughs> let me just let me just let me just say happy independence but the situation in nigeria really is nothing to write home about or be happy about you know but i know we'll get there i'm just not sure if it will be in my generation maybe my children's or my grandchildren oh my god we shall get there <laughs> because i don't know with the way it's going it's like we're just recycling the same government like a new person with good ideas and nothing you can't just come and say you want to be president like you need to join the all this recycled government it's either apc or pdp like any other party it's not there's no chance like people don't even vote people only vote for like the popular party like they don't even look at the other people's manifestos to see if they're going to make any difference or what they just you see nigeria yeah i don't even know and then there's people that just vote for because of bag of rice and six yards of ankara you people you have a special place in hell yes l is waiting for you <laughs> i know people anyway i want to talk about entrepreneurs i love small businesses i love people that come up with ideas me i like supporting small businesses people that come up with idea like they're just starting out i like supporting people that's my thing even if i don't know you and i see that oh you're little upcoming business and you know you've got nice stuff i'll buy from you but entrepreneurs please small businesses please don't think people have to buy from you i keep saying all this all these memes and all these messages on instagram all these social media messages about how um you rather buy from jordan you rather buy from nike you rather buy than buy from your friends like stop already stop it yes it's a choice where people want to spend their money like just because you're spent you're selling something doesn't mean i have to buy it because i know you and second of all you really you people really some of you really do get carried away and the, the thing that uh, annoys me that really you know gets me is the people that are actually making like proper products that should be bought that we all know should be bought not the ones that are complaining like simply mon she's got nice dolls okay like dolls for black let me just show you some of the dolls that i got this is for my daughter look at the hair it's so beautiful like not all black people have long hair like i've seen black dolls but most of them have like you know big you know nice curly afro hair but this 
is short my daughter's hair is short something she can relate to you know and it comes in the, like a dress uh some some comes in jumpsuit it depends what you want and then this is for my son and you know something you know kids can relate to as black children and we don't have much of this sort of stuff especially the this like chubby sort of size like um because normally you find like those barbie skinny dolls but this is like you know realistic sort of you know size people like this they never complain they get on with their business people that make you know something tangible that we actually need it's always it's always them ones the ones that their product everybody's making this product already bags shoes oh, brazilian hair whatever you what, what you know all this stuff that there's so many competition out there already and but you want to come on social media and start lamenting and start complaining like we're tired of it get on with your business stop blaming your customers for not buying stuff find out why people are not buying your stuff stop blaming people for not buying stuff stop saying oh you 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 rather spend you rather spend money in a gucci store but won't support your friend's business or maybe hello maybe your bag is not premium enough i'm sorry but sometimes you people want to be selling your sh okay calm down second let's not swear you're not so premium bag for premium prices no it doesn't work like that i know yeah it costs you more to make these things and stuff yeah you figure out how you want to do it don't blame me for not wanting to buy ordinary bag that can uh, something that can get for 100 pounds you're asking me to pay 200 pounds for it why because you because of what because i know you I'm not gonna spend extra when I can get it for 100 pounds and you know if anything happened to it I'll go back there and not get you know not get cost out like if I buy a Michael Kors bag or Louis Vuitton bag or Gucci bag I know I can take it back if anything happened to it do, do you have those guarantees like you don't most of you don't but you still want to complain that um yeah people are not buying from you or people rather buy let people do what is their money let people do what they want to do with their money like i don't understand why um small businesses are getting too relaxed you think oh because you just started a business it's just time to people will just you know gather around you and start buying things no if you're selling especially if you're selling stuff that i can easily get at the shop you need to like have a unique selling point you need to have a reason there, sh there needs to be a reason why i need to come to you to buy it you know there's there's some there's a lady that i bought something from and i stopped buying from her because the first the uh when i messaged her that i wanted to get the pro i'm not going to mention the product I, but i messaged her said okay i want this product blah 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 i'll come and pick it up or we can arrange to meet up and I could collect it and then I went out throughout the day I forgot and everything a week later then like few days later and I remembered I said yeah I was supposed to go and collect something from this person do you know this a business owner didn't even bother to message and say oh you know hope everything's all right you know you were supposed to meet up and no reminder no nothing and I'm like you really want to sell <laughs> do you people think it comes easy and i'm not saying no people need to beg you need to beg you for you to come and buy from them but come on like if you have a client and they haven't turned up with you there's no no big deal in you messaging them i mean even big companies do it have you not ever uh, tried to shop online and then put stuff in a basket do you know how many emails you get from Amazon to say, oh, you've left something in your basket? Even August, you've left some, something in your basket and all this. Big companies do it. It's not begging. It's just a reminder. So some of you feel like, yeah, you're big already. Just because you've got a logo and everything, 
you need to really hustle is it the beginning the humble beginnings you know you know as we say in nigeria you need to try to at least if you do that i'll remember first of all second of all it means you care about your your clients or your customers like come on we need to do better you can't just be blaming your customers for not buying from you when you don't even bother all right you know once i mean come on once you connect with your customer you need to get the email you know do updates do a little reminder so they know that you're still in business uh, this company is not doing that that company is not doing that you lot still go there and buy it but you're not that company and you need to be humble you're just starting out so you need to put in that extra work and you need to be extra nice you can't be doing giving me attitude if you want me to buy from you i'm not i don't care how nice it is I don't understand they just think that it comes easy yeah, Louis Vuitton didn't start yesterday, you know. Nike didn't start yesterday. So stop comparing yourself. Work hard for it. Like, if Nike were doing blah, anyhow, do you think we'll know about them now? Nobody will know about them now. So stop complaining about your customers and not buying. It, you, need to, you need to check yourself. Find out why, pe why people are not buying from you. Go and check yourself. And it's always the ones that are not even... They're not even trying at all. The ones that are actually putting in work, they're not the ones complaining, you know. It's always the ones that are not putting in the work that will not be. Anyway, they have too much time on that to be coming on social media. And look here, if you're a business, you should refrain from posting foolish posts such as uh, you, your friend is doing this. You should refrain from it. Just concentrate on your business. Yes yes you have so many opinions concentrate on your business and stop feeling entitled nobody has to buy your product your product people you just don't you want people to buy a product because it's actually nice i don't if i'm selling stuff i don't want people to buy buy from me because oh they feel um embarrassed or they feel like oh they have to buy or they feel like i'm gonna tell them off for not buying from me. I want people to buy my product because it's, they think it's good, not because I'm their friend. Like people don't, this is 2019, nobody's gonna buy your stuff because they're your friend. If it's rubbish, it's rubbish. And most of you will not even list, they will tell you this thing is not going to work. Uh, not, not going to work, but they will tell you this thing is not what we're expecting and you will still fight them. Do you think people want to buy from you? seriously like we need to do better anyway this 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 is the sort of brand that me i support that's why i bought two dolls okay and i'm still going to buy more because this is the sort of things that i support i like supporting small businesses if it makes sense don't just come with your dege dege aliexpress products and then try and sell it to me for one million pounds because i ain't gonna do it are we gonna do it no yeah yeah you heard that right so please let's refrain from posting all this silly post that will even put your customers off to the nigerian businesses you will we'll see one thing on your page and then when you send it it's another thing please let's stop the corruption people are too corrupt anyway guys let's not talk too much Please go and support. She's gonna have a, a website soon, very soon. She's still working on the website, but you can check her out simply, simply Mondol or simply does. I'll put the name of the company on Instagram so you can go and check them out if you need some dollies for your children or you can even have it for yourself. Oh, you need to see the baby one that I bought for my niece, it's so nice. I'm gonna get that just for the sake of it anyway guys yeah go support small businesses but small businesses you too respect yourself thank you for listening bye